Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Thank God for his ministry. We encountered him over three and a half decades ago, maybe a little longer. I didn't say numbers, I said in decades, so you might put it together. <laughs> um, his ministry has been phenomenal. His reach has been impactful. Serving our churches. In the United States as well here in the Trinidad and the West Indies. But his work, even now, at Train Theological Seminary, impactful. He's a brother that I respect, a brother that we have good collegiality with. And so I thought it not robbery. Again, to invite son of the soul. I want the people of the 16th district to know that you are just as well able Amen. 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 to stand on the big stage uh -huh. and to be in the big places when you allow God to have his way in your life. God will give you opportunity to do what needs to be done. But don't be getting ready when opportunity knocks. Mm -hmm. Be ready. Don't be getting ready. Be ready. And so he's here at our invitation. He's a candidate for the office of bishop, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But I'm excited about his exercise of transforming leaders. The Reverend Dr. Um, Keith Lawrence. Let's give him again a great 16th district welcome. Pastor of First Enemy Church. Welcome home. You have an honor. To God be the glory. Yeah. Bishop Marvin Sanders to supervise the Sanders. Bishop, I don't take it lightly when people invite you to share their space. I'm eternally humbled and grateful for the opportunity to come home. Yes. And to share, thus saith the Lord, yes. to all of our presiding elders, we greet you in the joy that only Jesus can give. Yes. I know most of you very well. And I thank God for your journey and your witness over the years. To our pastors and to the members of this district, where EJ, the tech team, I mean, you know, these young folk with this tech stuff, you know, yeah, give them yeah. a yeah. hand. Yeah. Give them a yeah. hand. Yeah. You gotta watch them because they'll put you on blast. In the <laughs> You don't know you're talking to the world. You know? right. You're talking to these young techies. But I am I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. It's been over 30 
seven years now, now since I made my first step to this place. Mm-hmm. And um, I will still conclude that I'm grateful. Yeah. Because I discovered that God will not part the water sometimes mm-hmm. until you put your foot in it. My yeah. Right. Yeah. So I want you to pray with me for these next few minutes. I, you know, when the bishop sent me the information about transforming leaders on purpose. I said, okay, okay, all right, that's good, that's good. But I realized that, you know, if we want to transform leaders, if we want to be a transformational leaders, if we want to be transformational leaders, there are some things we need to do. So I want to just spend my, the time on which I've been granted to deal with Two questions. I want to ask mm. a couple of questions. Mm. Number one, and, and some of this stuff we're going to read together as you know, I, I teach, and I think that when we engage the class, the first question I want to ask you, I'm getting a little feedback here, but the first question I want to ask you, because everybody run around, let me, let me give homage to uh, uh, Dr. Ronnie Clark, please. Praise the Lord. He's also running for Episcopal Ministry, but he's one of my students. Yeah. I'm yeah. so delighted to, <laughs> to see yeah. how about six or seven students running. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so I'm grateful. So, the first question I need to ask because we get into, you know, what's the latest thing? Mm. The best thing, the best phrases, the, the best words. Mm-hmm. I, I used to come here back in the day and I would stay at the Hilton. Mm-hmm. The Hilton was the place to stay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> stay at the Hilton until they built the Hyatt Regency. Yeah. Yeah. When they built the Hyatt Regency, I dumped the Hilton and went <laughs> straight to the Hyatt. And now we can't get to the bricks. <laughs> so you all know what's going on. <laughs> I'm dumping the hat and I'm staying at the wheel. We like the latest cream. Uh, and so now in the world of theology, we talk about transformational leaders. Mm-hmm. Transformational leaders. Mm-hmm. So the question, my first question I want to ask you is do you really want to be mm. a transformational leader? Mm. Somebody next to you didn't hear me. You asked them that question. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Do you really want to be a transformational Do you really want to be a transformation? Now, because I understand a few things, I want to just hang my hat on a passage of scripture. And I want you to please um, uh, take me to task and don't let me leave up here <laughs> without going back and get my hat. <laughs> All right? Okay. Don't, I'm don't, don't, don't let me walk away from here. And if you see I feel and I try to get ready to move, you say, hey, go back and get your hat. <laughs> All right. So out of out of the book of Revelations, mm. chapter two, there are a couple of churches mm-hmm. yes. that God sent letters to. Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. The person who wrote the letter was a transformational leader. But he was an exact. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you really want to be a transformational leader? 
So in the book of Revelation, you read it from the New Revised Standard Version. It says to the angel of the church at Ephesus, write. These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks among the seven the golden lampsticks. I know your work, your toil, your endurance. I know that you cannot tolerate evildoers. You have tested those who claim to be apostles, but are not, and have found them to be false. I also know that you are enduring and bearing up for the sake of my name. And that you have not grown weary. Listen to 16, God's talking. But I have this one thing against you. You have abandoned the love you had at first. <laughs> Remember then from where you have fallen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repent. Uh -huh. And do the works you did at first. Mm -hmm. If not, come on up in here. will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. Unless you repent. That's to the church. That's the church at, at Ephesus. If you go on now with me to verse number 18, let me just read a couple of things from the church at Titan. The church at Tyre, under the angel of the church at in Tyre, right? Those are the words of the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and whose feet are like uh, banished bronze. I know, I know your words, uh -huh. your love, mm -hmm. faith, yeah. service, mm -hmm. and endurance. I know that you, that your uh, latest works are greater uh -huh. than the first. Uh -huh. but, but, <laughs> I have this against yeah. you. Uh -huh. You tolerated that woman. Uh -huh. that, that, that's, that's, that's 18A. Uh -huh. You that woman, Jezebel, consecrate me now to thy service by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up. With a steadfast hope, yes. Yes. and my will be lost in that. Draw me nearer, <coughs> nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. And if Bishop Marvin Zanders was standing here, he would say, Let the me and me sit down, let the me and you stand up. But let the you and me come out. And when you come forth fresh on this waiting congregation, it's in the mighty, magnificent, and matchless name of our living Lord and Savior Jesus of Christ we pray. And those who are not scared to say amen. So, so, so you, you, you really want to be a transformation of. And if that's your desire, if that's what you want, if that's what you are aspiring to, if that's what you feel God is leading you, if you feel this ontological pull to be a transformational leader, before you look outside, mm. you got to look inside. Come on, come on. Be before you show up somebody else, Go get Michael Jackson. Look at the, the person in the mirror. The mirror. Yeah. I know what Shadow said. The man in the mirror is not me. 
Oh, no shadow message to mind. Uh 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 uh, that man in the mirror is not me, it couldn't be. Oh, I am on the mirror, the man inside, like he want to take my brain for a ride, but it's not me, but it's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, let's, let's go to slide number one, my friend, as we look at the spiritual foundation and formation for those who want to be transformational leaders. Here are some things yes. to consider. Yes. On my way to this session, I picked up a jacket. Mm. And because I understand that one size does not fit all, mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, let me walk with it anyway. And all I'm asking you to do this morning is to try it on. Now, 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 if it fit you, yes, sir. keep it. It's yours. Right. Yeah. If it doesn't fit you, yeah. please give it back to me. Okay. <laughs> please give it back to me. I'll take it back. All right, so let's go, there. Let, let, let's go on. If you're going to be a transformational leader, you got to learn how to pray. Uh, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Because prayer, look, what the songwriter says, when you cease from prayer, you cease to fight. Any person who says, I'm a believer, but they don't pray, they have given up. It's done, it's over. But what is prayer? What is prayer? It is what? And then come, let's read together, and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher. An encounter with God that is initiated by God through us uh -huh, that changes our hearts as we humbly communicate and worship the Lord, confess our sin and transgression, and ask God to fulfill both our needs and our desires. That's what that's that's what prayer is. That's the definition of prayer. You're moving, my brother. What is the purpose? Why do we pray? Wow. Why, why should I, as a wannabe transformational leader, pray? Mm. The purpose of it is to help us conform our will, our will yeah. to God's will. Good. I know we love to be in charge. Good. But transformational leaders must surrender their will to God's will. All to Jesus. I and all to Him. I the goal of the prayer is to have a purpose for the prayer. There's a goal for the prayer. And the goal is to conform our prayer life so that whatever we are asking God for is rooted in the same seven words. And what's the seven words? You, you say it like you're scared. Not the, come on, ask God. Glory to God. So before we make a next step in this session, I want you to pause right now and just declare, God, not my will, but yours be done. Glory. Now that we set the foundation. So as we get ready to go on the time after takeoff, please understand <laughs> that I'm not responsible for anything that happened in here from now on. <laughs> because we've just set the God, not our will. You're yes, yes, yes. ah. yes. right. yes, you know it. Yes. When we pray, there are some things that should be included in our prayer. We call it the acts prayer. The acts prayer. And the acts is adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. It is not a grocery list. Mm. <laughs> wow. We shall talk about it. Some of us write up a list. Yeah. And then we approach the throne, oh mercy seat, where Jesus answers prayer. We humbly fall before his feet because we know none shall perish there, but we pull the grocery list. 
and we shift the prayer from theology to meology. God, could you bless me? Bless my family, bless my children, bless my daughter, bless my husband, bless my grandfather. Ah, you know what I'm saying? It's all about what, it's all about what, what I want, what, what I want. Hmm. But when you intend hmm. to shift the atmosphere yeah. and disrupt the status quo, right. your prayer must have some adoration. And because we all have sinned and fallen short, let me say this again, because we all, not y'all have sinned, but we all have sinned and fallen short, then we have to move to confession. Every prayer not only must it have adoration, confession, there must all, always be thanks in our prayer. And because we want to take the grocery list out of the prayer, we've got to do supplication, intercession, and start praying for somebody else. Hallelujah. And I know they, they teach us all kinds of stuff in the church. Bishop, they teach us all kinds of stuff. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. <laughs> in need of prayer. And we got, we, we got some gums, and we, we got some holy gums. It's not my mama. <laughs> Who gave birth to you? It's not my daddy. But it's one day, one day. So in other words, what we say, it's not my mama. It's not what we really say, forget my mama. Forget my daddy. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying she woke up this morning tell me because she feeling a pain in her hip or not. I, I, I know daddy said he can't walk, but they got nothing to do with that. <laughs> but it didn't start with you. Don't feel badly about it because it didn't start with you. My hero in the Bible is David. And when he wrote Psalm number 23 in the, in the Hebrew hymn book, he moved straight to that. He said, the Lord is my and I shall not be naked. So we took that theology. I see you. Boy, we just work that thing. So we can go to God. You understand? So as you go through this, I don't want you to think so much about leadership. I want you to think about leadership. Uh, according to John Maxwell, we got to shift. Yeah. Yeah. How we think. Yeah. think. Mm -hmm. Just Work. don't be saying stuff right. because other people say it. Right. It doesn't mean oh, something to yes. you. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, in adoration, is an attitude of worship characterized by love and reverence oh. to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I'm so glad. You woke me up this morning. Oh, yeah. You didn't have to do it. Yeah. And after what I did last night, I really don't earn the right to be here. God, by the words I said, but by the thoughts that I I, 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 I went through last night, the mess that was in my head, I don't deserve this. But you look beyond my fault. Yeah. And you met every need. And woke me up this morning, and I am grateful. We've got to learn how to give God. Amen. Am I talking to anybody? Yeah. And when I, you know, give God adoration for all the stuff that God has done, then I move to what I did last night. Love, help me now. <laughs> You know my eyes straight and some things should be straight on there. I'm guilty. <laughs> Lord, you know when I saw so and so and so and so that Lord Jesus, I tried to stay holy. But holy got hold of me. Am I talking to anybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Lord, when that person gets Bounce me like that in the elevator. I was about to go postal. 
Please forgive me. <laughs> forgive me for how I think about the past. <laughs> forgive me for how I think about the elders. Yes, yes. Forgive me for how I thought about the bishop. When bishop said that word, boy, I almost go ballistic. Yeah, yeah. Please. Forgive. Because when we ask for forgiveness, we're asking God to clean up the ground between us. Because this prayer that I'm about to pray, I want God to hear and answer. Yeah. So I've got to confess my sins. Mm -hmm. And it's only when we confess our sins before the Lord mm -hmm. and we are sincere in heart that God forgives us. Am yeah. I talking to anybody in church? Yeah. Yeah. And then when we ask, you know, did the confession, then we go to Thanksgiving. God, we thank you. It's a pattern that refers uh, to the offering of, of giving God thanks, especially for the daily blessings that God gives us. It is Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody fool you. November is not Thanksgiving. Every day yeah. is a day okay. of Thanksgiving. God's been so good to me every day. He's blessing me every day. It's a day of Thanksgiving. And when I finish give thanks, you know this now, I go to supplication, yeah. prayer, and when, and when we come to God and ask for something, usually for ourselves, supplication, okay? Look at the intercession is when we pray for somebody, somebody else to pray. So yeah, Lord, you know, I'm dealing with some stuff, I'm dealing with some stuff, I'm dealing with some stuff. Give me the strength to deal with it. Don't spend a whole list dealing with it. But then, what about my sister? What about my mother? What about my brother? What about my cousin going through some rough times? What about that person I bypass to come into church? What about that person? I remember, let's forget this. Uh, where were we? There was a church we started somewhere in the south uh in south trinidad and boy we were going there that night going to have service and while we were going up the stairs to have the service there were some homeless people i'm trying to remember where it is it might come back to me there's some homeless people and the guy who was supposed to be the pastor i mean he jumped out the car he said what are you all doing up here what, what? No, 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 get out of the church get out of the church get out of the church <laughs> <laughs> and you will kick for off the stairs so you can go in church and tell God Adam. You're kicking God off the off the steps. Trying to get into God's house to prove how holy we are. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Let's go to the other slide. Because I'll go through this real quick here. I want to make sure that I utilize my time wise. So let's do an exercise. What's the first exercise? Come on, you all let's read it. You don't have to do that, but you know, if you whenever you're doing this, just you know, take a few minutes for our teachers. You churches, you can do you know, take a few minutes and just just write a prayer, but in that prayer, mm -hmm. it must have the acts adoration, mm -hmm. confession, uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right, and we, we must be able to have those. Mm -hmm. It's why it's why we call it an acts prayer because that's how we pray. Right? Mm -hmm. If you want to be a transformational leader. We have to learn how to pray. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to play like that so much. DJ. B. Engage in awareness, learning, reflection, and action. Mm -hmm. So we must be aware. They have the awareness. Did they turn off the, 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 the AC? The AC? Yeah. Come on. So, I'm trying to add you now. I'm heated. So please ask them to adjust. Uh, yeah, this, this. Somebody turn that thing up to 80. Don't do that. Uh, I'll drop this microphone and run here. 
I need it to be a mention. Amen. All right. So exercises A and B will teach us how to practice what we just said. Come on, EJ. Move to the other slide, please. I don't want to block that. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. So in this first box, we do what? Go for reflection. And let's read it together. Prayer. Yes. So you can use that box and say, well, let me put my, let me, let me, let me quote my own stuff again. And then look at the definition again. Prayer, Prayer is what? Praise the Lord. The third one is what? So let's look at meditation. The Lord says, Praise the Lord. Let's look at the evaluation. Talking to God is second only and hearing from Him. Yes. necessary for Praise the Lord. Bottom line is pastors, church people, how often do you pray? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How often do we pray? Sincere prayer. Mm -hmm. Not talking about now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord, my soul to keep if I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord. My... How, how often? And pastors, it is said that pastors pray the least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some pastors may pray once a week. <laughs> some pastors pick up that Bible preach on Sunday morning and then the next time they pick it up is when they go to church the next Sunday dust it off mm. do you really want to be a transformational leader because to be a transformational leader will cost you something. Yes. Are you willing to pay the price for transformation? All right, EJ, let's look at the other one. Oh, bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Here are some things to consider. Okay? What do I want God to deliver me from? It's your private prayer. What do I want God to deliver me from? Somebody need deliverance this morning. What do you need God to deliver you from? How often do I praise God in my praise? Do I frequently praise his attributes? Look at the other one. How, what, how often do I use scripture in my prayer? Have I been praying the type of prayers that God refuses to answer? Do I have a list of people uh, to pray for? Whom should I add to that list? To the list? Uh, do I ever feel that God is distant and not hearing my prayer? How often do I pray for my enemies? Mm. I don't pray for my enemies. I don't. I hear you. No. <laughs> How should I uh, be praying for my neighbors, family, and friends? What do I consider the primary purpose of prayer? So these are just things we want you to 
consider. If you're going to be a transformational leader, you must first have a prayer life. Amen. I know it sounds simple. I don't want to go any deeper. I want every person in here to know if you want to be a transformational leader, you've got to have a deep and abiding prayer life. That's the first part. I got a couple more, then I'm moving on. Hi, DJ. Look at this. Prayer is both what? A privilege and a duty. A gift that allows us to fulfill a requirement of Christian life, of transformational living. You cannot be a transformational leader without a prayer life. Let's move on. Pronounce that word? Let to the dinner. All right, what is it? Let's keep moving. I want to make sure. Amen. Well, all right. What's the definition? Let's read it together. Yes. Very good. Let's, let's keep it moving right there. So look at this. We have to respond thoughtfully, think deeply, and what? It's intensely personal. When I'm reading the scripture, you've got this is this is this is between you and God. It has to mean something. Mm -hmm. Let's move to the other piece. Let's move to the other. Piece. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> so look at the process. This is how this is how some of us might be able to do it. You take 30 minutes to read and reflect and respond to the Holy Spirit's prompting and invite God through prayer. Mm -hmm. This is how we what? Prepare. Prepare. Yeah. Look at how it moves. The arrow moves now. And it says what? Get to know the scripture passage. Pay attention now, transformational leaders. Don't force it. Listen for words and phrases that jumps out when, 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 when you're yeah. reading that scripture. You gotta, yeah. you gotta be intentional. That's that's lecto means to read. All right, and then look at it, it comes on down. So when we read it, we have to ask the question, what is God saying? Like that text I just read. What is God saying? Don't analyze the passage. Don't go into study mode. Just ask God to make his focus clear. Because all of us will read the same text but each of us will get a different Amen. interpretation. Yes. 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 It's not one size fit all. Right. Yeah. It is intensely personal. Yeah. When I read this, it means something to me. And what it means to me, it may not mean to you. Yes. All right? So, okay. So let's look at the other piece here now. Let's read. Re record your thoughts because you may be prone to what? Forgetting what you have learned. And then we can respond in prayer, giving us time with God. So you see, do you, do you want to be a transformational leader? It's all about spending time with God. All right? That's good. Orato, which is mean to respond. That's what that, that, that's what that is. Now, so let us go, move over to the, to the to the other side. Spend time in what? This is not a time for prayer or meditation. If your mind wanders, redirect it back. Let me go back to the top. Spend time in quiet contemplation. This is how some of us talk to God. Yo, what's up, Bob? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Man, I tell you, I was thinking about you last night. I said, let me give you a call. And so I think we should have a good conversation. And um, there's some things I need, I want, and every other. And Lord, if you bless me with this, if you give me that, if you give me that, let me give me that. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> How do we ask God a question? And when we finish, we hang up the phone. Oh, yeah. Amen. Don't you not want God to respond? To respond? No. Can you not hold the phone up a little while longer? So at least it gives God the chance mm -hmm. to respond to your prayer? Yes, sir. And then you hang up the phone, walk away and mad with God because I asked God for something and God didn't give it to me and God didn't deliver. You didn't wait I'm mad. for the response. Mm -hmm. You just made your grocery list. And then you want God to be like a cosmic bellhop mm -hmm. and just deliver what you ask. Mm -hmm. Look at your neighbor and say, you don't want that. <laughs> well, I know you're clean, you're sharp, you dress, you dress for church today, but it takes more than that. All right, let's move to the next one. So that's the process. <laughs> Is this helping anybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you intend to be a transformational leader and to make this leader shift. To this exercise. Thanks. It gets selected to be now using Psalm number 23 together. We don't have the time to do it, but after the fourth reading, mm -hmm. share what God has revealed individually and to you as a group. This is something you need to take back. Okay. Sit down with your people. Mm -hmm. Say, so let's read. Yes. Not Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Psalm. Yes. It is the book of Psalms. That's right. But when you read it, it is Psalm. Yeah. Can I yeah. drop some teaching on it? Yeah. <laughs> All right? Yes. And the other mistake we make when it comes to the book of Psalter, mm -hmm. to the book of Psalms, there is no 121 division in the book. No. There's no 150 division. This elective for another time. There are only five divisions in the book of Psalms. And how do I know when I come to the end of the first book? I know when I come to the end of the first book because there's a doxology. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. At the end of that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So now let's go to biblical meditations. meditation. So we have to, number one, we have to spend time in prayer. Yeah. We have to read. And now here is where. We do biblical meditation. I'm telling you, if you want to make this shift, if you want to be an effective and transformational leader, it just does not happen by osmosis. No. It is not a casual thing. It's something that you have to work towards. Praise the Lord. And because it's a spiritual journey, then we have to seek the one who knows how to dispense the spirit. All right. Note that there is a vast difference between getting into the word of God and the word, what? And getting, getting, getting into the word of God and getting the word of God. Too many of us uh, want to get into the word of God, but we don't want the word to get into us. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's, let's, uh, let's get into the word. No, no, no. Get into the word. Let the word get into you. And when the word get into us, that's when the word becomes. Are you word? Word becomes flesh. And when that word becomes flesh, then your heart is the altar. And God resides there. Hallelujah. That's why I can sing. I come to the garden alone. While the dew was still on the roses. And the voice I hear 
falling on my it's the son of god discloses he didn't announce it he discloses he and he tells me and the joy we share as we tell you there none other other has ever known it's not you getting into the word is the word getting into us and allow the presence of God to saturate your inner being once you have completed ready to share with the group so this is how you go back, take this back to your churches, do group studies because this is an effective way of allowing us because at the end of the day it has nothing to do with anybody else, it's between you and God alright all right, my friend, let's turn the corner now. According to Renita Williams, you know, she said what? As with most great communicators, God knows that the point of silence and pause between sentences is what? 
It's not to give the audience a chance to fill the silence with empty body, but to help create more text to the composition. You will always get a better understanding and a better response when you speak and talk. In fact, to think about what you just read. The Lord is my shepherd. If God is my shepherd, I am not dealing. It's like when people say, you know, uh, and let us repeat Psalm 121. I look at the hills from whence cometh my help, my help come from the Lord. Which may have enough. But we take no time back to the Bible to understand what we should do. The statement is I will lift my eyes onto the hills. The question is the King James said, from which? Coming, my help. Verse two answers the question. My help. The help does not come from the hills. My help comes from the Lord. But if you read it, like you get running through it, yeah, yeah. you lose this its meaning yeah. and its thing. But when I say it, the next time, I will say, I will look onto the hills. From whence? Come. My help. That's impossible. And then I get a shout at the end. My help! I'm not way that your help comes from, but my help yeah. comes from the Lord. All right, let's move over to the other side now. Uh, okay, no time for me to leave. After yeah. right. Thank you all very much. Oh, don't forget your hat. Oh, 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 hat. God, what do you have against me? Mm. What have I done? To you? Mm. And as I mentioned previously, here is a transformational leader. Exile on the eyes of Patmos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And in his exilic state, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the spirit found him. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, hmm. Yes, sir. Because I've got some churches. Yes, sir. I see you. That I need to address. Mm -hmm. I've got some churches in the 16th district. Well, 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 that I need to talk to. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because I remember the days. Yeah. I see you. And if we had a planning meeting, mm -hmm. this room couldn't hold us. And folk made no excuses. When a new planning meeting would come up, they go to their boss yeah. and said, let me just say one thing to you. You see, on this day to this day, yeah. I'm having a planning meeting at the church. I cannot be here. So be, to be foretold is to be forewarned. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. And you can give me the day off, but do I need to leave the job? No, they don't give me. 
in the grocery store or wherever I go, I tell of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. He used to bring me some wonderful chocolate love. Yeah. But he fell in love with something else. That's why the church is a, is a reflection of us. What we have done. Mm. And continue. Don't blame no bishop. Mm. Don't blame the elders. It's what we have done. Because <coughs> one stick of fire can light this whole thing. Yes. And as transformational leaders, you can look to nobody to get it done for you. You've got to do it for yourself. Yes. Yes. Okay, I know I ain't going to even up in one or two. Y'all love me just now. We're not talking about Lecture Divina, but now you don't want to say amen. Have I got any witnesses up in here? Yeah. And God said, God said, no, I'm going to give you a way out of this. I, I, I give you a way out. I, I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to fall in love with you again and you will fall in love with me again but there's something you need to do because I didn't do it, you did it. I stand here as the first person in this room to say Lord I will. Yes, the hymn writer said the dearest idol I have known whatever that idol be help me to what? tear it from thy throne and worship only the return oh holy dove return sweet messenger of rest I hate the sin that made thee mourn and drove you from the press come back Lord and weep we have some people up in here who oh, Lord, when I give God praise early in the morning, God can forget me late in the evening. I'm not to repent. I go back to God. I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Stop pointing your finger at everybody else. I'm free pointing right back. And I say, it's not them. It's you. It's me. We God wants to stir this district. God wants it back to life. God wants some young people sitting up in here. That I sat and dream the impossible dreams. God wants some folk who don't mind getting on their knees and say, have thine own way.
you tolerate that woman, Jezebel. Now, now, don't look at Jezebel as a woman. Jezebel is a spirit. Spirit. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. Who the kill? You're tolerated. Mm. You know she won the right. Yeah. Mm. I'm good right now. You know what she was saying to you was the wrong thing. Mm. But you still mm. tolerate Toleration is the graveyard of leadership. I'll say you. Know, I'll say you. Ah. Whatever happened, it's not your fault, but it is your fight. We've got to clean it up. The church is here, you drive by, they have not had one nail put in that piece of wood that has been coming out of the building for 30 years. Somebody you know, I know when Reverend Dawn built that church, that that thing will come for. I mean, the man is gone! 20 some years, he's dead! You pastoring it now! Get the nail, get the hammer, and fix the mess! I'm home, bro. Yeah. 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 Stop tolerating some stuff. Don't tolerate some things in your house. Mm -hmm. well, my dad, he has um, four, four boys up there. Mm -hmm. I'm just sure this one, all of them talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you all something. I don't know what you're living in. <laughs> Remember what brother one time he talked about mother some kind of crazy? Yeah. You understand? Okay. <laughs> like a cray cray, you understand? <laughs> now he said, if you don't respect her as your mother, yeah. Respect her as my wife. Yeah. What? <laughs> Talk to my wife any kind of way. There are some things you must never tolerate. Yes, I love my children, but I don't have to tolerate what you bring to me. The church at Tyatira is where it is because you tolerated that woman. If we are leaning forward with this vision, and we are saying in our mind, we must disrupt yes. the status quo. Do not Leave this meeting. Going back with the same mindset. Yes, sir. As the last time you met. Ooh, uh, did nothing. And then come back. What is your plan? To do something differently. So when we meet again. You have a report. That reflects. I'm going to give God some praise all over this time. There is greatness in you, don't you know that? The bishop talks about Kenneth Marcus. We had the dog in water in the hole. You know, we used to call it the hole. Yeah. You know, after 10 o'clock at night, you know, taxi going on inside. You understand? And you pass through them dark cane fields, and some of them are horse loose in the middle of the night. <laughs> 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 
Take off running, I'm not your running. Don't stick off behind you. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like me. What are you talking about? Get ready. Who used to fall asleep with mosquitoes as the choir? <laughs> Put a dream in your heart. Don't let anybody, young people, don't let folks change a dream. Dream. All the people you have a dream, dream big. And don't let folk make you feel badly about some action that God caused you to take talking about. You are a disgrace. I'm not glad I am a disgrace because God's grace is bigger than my disgrace. Amazing grace. So people from the church at Ephesus were dead. Fall on your face. Yeah. And ask God to forgive us. Yes. Bishop, in your midst, I ask God to forgive us as a Christian. Yes. If we have fallen short yes. and came up on your skin one day. Yes. If you're not going to help it, stop complaining about it. Come on. Yes. 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 Come on yes. Yes. It's not about the whole way taking money and all that. Need money. You can't run your household without money. And I realize some of us don't have a money problem. We have a God problem. Because if somebody brings money for us, we want it. Don't we? Yes. They don't look at me them sad eyes. <laughs> Turn the other way. I don't want to see you cry. <laughs> Listen. Stop. I'm serious. I'm so serious. Because if we want to be transformational leaders. We are not we want to not go in who Lord, what, what have you had against me? That's the question of this morning, three o'clock, God woke me up with what you have this against that church, and you have this against that church. God, what do you have against me? What is it that I all of the wonderful stuff? What is what comes behind my butt? Mm. <laughs> what is I have this one thing against? And when we look at it like that, we cannot exclude anybody. <coughs> but we have to go in the mirror and say it's me. It's me. See how it comes back. And I am the one who have messed up. And God, I intend to clean what I messed up. Yes, God, will you cover all of us today? Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can we wipe your microphone? Oh, yeah. 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 Exegetical work. You may be seeing any questions. Oh, yeah. I know he asked two questions. And before he get his hat, <laughs> any questions? And persons who are on um, the Zoom room, <coughs> any questions? Any any questions while presented? Any questions? And you got it. All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me try one. Let me oh. try one. Um, God, what it is you have against me? This is the question that we ask ourselves. How long do we wait for God to? Answer us is my question that I'm asking myself because sometimes I <clears throat> do not have the answer to the question that I ask as quickly as I require. That's why I thought we should have done the first set of slides first. Spending time yes. with God mm -hmm. because. When we walk with the Lord, right. 
in the light of his word. He says on the way. And while we do his good work, he abides with us still. Not only with us, but with all who will trust. Trust and obey, for there is no See, we, we cannot have this on and off relationship with God. Yes, yes. It's got to be consistent. Hallelujah. Yes. You're not a God on Sunday morning and then the next two weeks you go in there. Hey, how you doing? Yes. Hey, nobody got time for that kind of relationship. You've got to be intentional yes, about spending time with God. And I guarantee you, every prayer request that you lay before God will be your praise report. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Please ask your questions. Good position. Please ask. Proper position. Say that again. Proper position. Amen. Okay. Amen. You get the best results from people who you have the best relationships with. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yes, sir. So, so that's, it's, it's, about, it's about this walk is about relationship with God. How is your relationship with God? You get mad with your spouse, you get mad with your, your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or whatever. You walk away, you go on two weeks and come back and like nothing happened. No, 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 no. God doesn't play like that. Let your yay be yay. Let your day be yay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Any questions? Questions? Come on, now. All right, anything on the Zoom room? Anyone? No one. All right. Praise the Lord. When the Zoom room, they went out. I'm going to ask a question. The question that you ask, I've asked my dad in a different way. Yes. But it's a situation that I've faced many times. Mm -hmm. And I know some of those in the Zoom room can have a great pleasure. When we were hosting the conference, it was declared by some people. I just told you that the conference would not have come out. But I had that French girl. Hold on, going. Jesus called himself. That's you. Mm -hmm. But they're going to be there to help you to prune you. 
get some pooling and some applications. And right. And, 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 please, we need to operate from the premise that there are no mistakes. Yeah. 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 You sitting here, you sitting next to who you're sitting next to, whatever is going on here in this moment is not a mistake. Exactly. The minute a believer opened their mouth and said, this is a mistake. You have nullified Romans 8 and 28. For we know. If we know that, then it's not a mistake. And stop trafficking in negativity. When you leave this meeting today, go home. You may have to delete some people off your phone. Yes, Every time you talk to them, it's something negative. You got to let them know you're not a trash truck. Uh, if you got a mess, you would not pick somewhere else. My ears weren't made for that, but I was made to hear the beauty of talk. Yeah. 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 Because he's talking about members, yeah, but disciples yeah. Yeah. don't complain. Uh -huh. We realize, I look at some of you in this room, you have been through so much, yes. Yes. and you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> People are mad with you yeah. when they think you should have killed you, oh. and now you don't look like what you've been through. <laughs> No, y'all don't start. Don't start. I'm going to be. The thing is that um, my question is is there a difference between extemporaneous prayer and written prayer? Extemporaneous prayer. Well, you know, there's a school. Yeah, like well, again, we talk about, you know, those who want to be specific and want to say a certain things you can write it down if you think your memory. Mm. Might not retain that, but there's no difference between the written or extemporaneous. For the people who write sermons, there are people who preach extemporaneously. Me, as an extemporaneous preacher, I say all the time, preaching with not without notes is not preaching without preparation. So, so you, 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 you gotta, got, you have to have your act together. Now. Yeah. You understand. Go ahead, you have one more. Go ahead. I'm referring not to written prayer, written prayer at, at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about written prayer of the past. You might you might be looking through a book, you get a prayer. Mm -hmm. Some people think that that prayer is devoid of the spirit and it does not bring you fruits. That's a thought that I, 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 I read that. But some people read the Bible the same way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just read it, it is another document. <laughs> But it's the spirit of yeah. God that makes the difference. Yeah. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Heavenly yeah. God. Stay right here with us, sir. Last, last question from Zoom Room. And thank those sisters and brothers who are participating and pressing their way. Um, this is from Lord Prince, how can we get rid of the spirit of Jezebel in the church? <laughs> <laughs> because the way we get rid of it is you have to effect yeah, Jezebel. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Well, You've got to say to Jesus, mm -hmm. you are not welcome yeah. in this space. Yeah. And we come against you. As a matter of fact, in this room right now, yeah. in the name of oh, Jesus, yeah. I give you any Jezebel spirit. Yeah. We bind you yeah. and we rebuke you yeah. in the name of Jesus. We want there is power. <laughs> zoom room, zoom room. If there's any in the zoom room, yeah. we bind you in the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And come wherever the spirit of the Lord is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ten minutes. 